ABA on NABN is back here in Pawtucket, Rhode Island for this playoff rematch as the Poverty Pirates host the Mass Wolves. Welcome to ABA on NABN, everybody. I'm Stephen Err. The Pirates and the Wolves are meeting for the second time this season. Pirates came out on top last week and over the Wolves out in Massachusetts. Now this is their first meeting in Rhode Island since that playoff game in which the Pirates defeated the Wolves by 50 points to advance. The, and they went on to all the way to be crowned the ABA Eastern Champions. We'll be looking to do that here. But as of right now, it has been a very slow start for the Pirates. They went, they started all the way at number four in the ABA standings. They then went all the way down to number 23 in the ABA standings and currently stand at number 22. Meanwhile, for the Wolves, they are also at 0-3 for the second consecutive season. After dropping their first three games, they're looking for a bounce-back win. They do have some of their soft players from last year, including Anthony Parker, Jimmy Fritzen, and Taylor Carlson. But unfortunately, one of the star players from last year is not here tonight, and that is Aaron Struthers, who does return for his second season with the Wolves. Well, let's get ready to go here. Tip-off from Pawtucket, Rhode Island, coming up right now. Away here in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, the Mass Wolves and the Providence Pirates here on the New England Broadcast Network. Thank you for joining us here. I'm Stephen R. Outside, Chris, it's Lee Vasquez for three, and he missed his first shot. Vasquez is one of the new guys here coming for the Wolves, and we have another first whistle here of the game. And the shot clock looked like it wasn't working. So again, the first shot there by Lee Vasquez. He's no good. One of the newcomers here for the Wolves. Hearts and Wolves again. We talk about the turning intro meeting for the second time this season. They met last weekend and now another whistle before the inbound. And there's, there is number four is Chris Green. Number four. And inbounding is number 12 is Jonathan Batista. And now ready to go. Batista inbounding here for the Pirates. Covered by Chris Green. And he's going to pass it out to Kevin Briggs, number eight. This one out to the best, not even arguably the best player here on the Pirates. It's Shane DeRosa. But a turnover there. Rosa will lose. Batista gets it back. That's by DeRosa. Two-point shot is up and is around the roll. And it's good. First points come to the Pirates. Pirates. And by the way, Shane DeRosa. And it's 2 nothing Pirates. As we get this one going. Here's Dante Law with the... Number 24. Talk a little more about Dante Law here in a few minutes. Law for three. No one bounces off. No good. And so who goes against three on the ball goes out of bounds. Let's see who will go out of bounds on. I guess they went out of bounds on number 10. There's Michael Mendez. So it's going to go over back to the Wolves. Out on again. Number 10, Michael Mendez for the Pirates. Do you know the Pirates? Here, start the first quarter. More discussion here. There are two referees here tonight. Usually not there. I was see normally seen there three of them. I only have two tonight. They showed up about five minutes before the game. One of them said, or well, someone asked them why they were late. They said, we just come from another game. And now here's Houston. Shayvon Houston, his shot. That's a shooting foul against the Pirates. So see how Houston's going to come to the line shoot two. Again, that was breaking out on the block. Score still 2 nothing, and now Houston, his second year with the Pirates, with the Wolves, excuse me, looking to tie this game. First shot up, and no good, so missed the first shot. We'll not be able to tie this game. Again, we are here at the Boys and Girls Club, Paul Tucker, Rhode Island, outside of Providence. ABA on NBN returned after a two-week hiatus. It'll be Thanksgiving vacation. We will be the last to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving here on the NBN. There's Armani Baker, another former pir another pirate, comes back from this is another year. Here's Rosa inside to Baker. Baker shot up. That is going to be a shot foul. Shooting foul. Looks like it was a shooting foul. It is against Houston. So Houston first gets the foul. And now he's coming against him. And Baker's going to come and shoot too. By the way, they also they gave, you see the scoreboard at the top of your screen. They gave the Bulls one point. So I guess that the second shot by Houston was good. The second first shot there by Baker is no good. So it remained 2 to 1, as you see, 10.33 left here, first quarter. In the ABA on NBN, I'm Stephen Irwin. We are here this week in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, our first weekend doubleheader. Tomorrow we will be in Bridgeport as the Kings take on the Kings. Be sure to stay tuned for that one. Bridgeport Kings, New Hampshire Kings, tomorrow from Bridgeport. We're now here at Pirates and the Wolves, a rematch of last year's ABA postseason. And the second time they're meeting here this season, pardon my finger, ladies and gentlemen, but Law outside of Houston. Houston back out to Law. Former teammates of the Wolves from last year. This one outside of Green. And Green getting outside to Vasquez. 
Another newcomer, Vasquez up top, knocks it down. That's a two-point shot for Lee Vasquez, who made, who made the first shot of the game. Oh, he tied the first shot of the game, he couldn't make it. Pirate, the Wolves now lead, 4-3, throws it for three, that one's off the mark. Look, it might have been a little tip there. There comes Law. Inside of Houston, Houston's shot is up and rolls around the rim and no good. Take it by DeRosa, who loses it. Green has it for the Wolves outside of Vasquez. I got the green. And back at the Vasquez. Back and forth to go here with these two. <laughs> and now Green for three. Bang! Nice shot there by Chris Green. And it's seven, three Pirates. That's out of the 10-minute mark here in the first quarter. The Pirates are up 7-3. to three. Oh, Excuse me, Wolves are up 7-3. Three. three ball. Bang, bang, bang. And there is Mendez with the 3. 7-6 seven, now you're scoring in favor of the Wolves. And a 3-D rule now in effect. So again, ladies and gentlemen, if you are new to the, the ABA, the 3-D rule is a turnover in the backcourt. If it's a 2-point shot, Leads to three points. Not a three-point shot. Leads to four points. So let's see what the Pirates can do here. Down by one. Shot is up. That's going to be three. And it is for Michael Mendez. And the Pirates now have a 10-7 lead. 9-7 lead. 8-7 lead. Should be a 9-7 lead. There it is. Here, number 15. Kwame Lee. And Law through three. It can't get it to go. Rebounded here by the Pirates. Batista has it for the for the Pirates. He's going to shake it off the free throw line and not make it. Rebounded by Vasquez, who takes a deep pass outside to Green. Green coming inside, and so we're kind of with the call the foul against here. Looked to me like it was an offensive foul. It was well, not an offensive foul. It was a charge against the Pirates, and it was 9:03 left. Not seven is your scores. You see top right of your screen now. Boys and Girls Club, ball talk around. <laughs> that, that one goes off the bottom of the backboard. So now it's off on the Wolves, and the Pirates will get it back. Up by two. That one was, that was a folly if you've ever seen one. Outside of DeRosa. And DeRosa was on fire in 2022-2023 season. It's much the same here than this year. And a foul here against the Wolves. 6.51 left here in the quarter. 9-7 still your score. Province Pirates and the Mass Wolves. Me for the second time this year. Now the clock continuing to roll. I have an inbound here. Where are the Pirates? And it's... Mendes out to DeRosa. Covered by Vasquez. That's a two-point shot for DeRosa. He's off the back of the rim. No good. And rebounded by Green. Here come the Wolves again, down by two. Going out to Lee. Kwame Lee has it. He turns it over, goes out of bounds. It'll go against the Pirates. Briggs was the last one to touch it, so the ball will go back over to the Wolves. And Green will be the one inbounding. Green to Law. And Law to Vasquez. Vasquez's shot is up, and oh, that would have been a really nice shot there if he made it, but he didn't. So here come the Pirates. On outside to Rosa coming inside. Back outside. And that one's going to go out of bounds on Lee. So we talked about, talk about it in our intro. The Wolves started 0-3 last year. They started 0-3 again this year. Went on to win three of their final four games in 2022 to get into the winter break with a 3-4 record. Got back to 500. They got up to 7-4. That shot by Briggs is good. They got to 7-4. The Wolves did it. And then Dante Law had an inter had a opportunity with the, the Basketball League. It's literally what it's called. It's the Basketball League. And so the Wolves kind of fell off the rocker at the end of the year. They didn't make the playoffs. But they came here where they lost to the Pirates by 50. And the shot by Houston is good. What a shot there by Houston. And the foul. But a chance to make it a one-point game. Hawk to run here with 7.40 left in the first quarter. Pirates lead 11-9. But Houston coming on for a foul shot. Chance to make this a three-point play. And the shot is good. 
So it's a one-point game with 7.39 left here in the first quarter. The, the Sorry, the Providence Pirates. I keep trying to say the Mass Pirates because the Indoor Football League team out now in Lowell, Massachusetts. And of course, over here we have the Pirates of Providence and the Mass Wolves. Briggs with it now, outside of DeRosa. DeRosa coming inside. Now puts it inside to Baker. Baker's shot is blocked by Lee. And here come the Wolves. Here's Vasquez. Outside to Lee. Lee, three. No good. Rebounded by the Pirates. Here's the Rosa. Works from the seven minute mark and a foul. Let's see who the foul was against, but it's going to be Pirates ball still. 11 9 your score, 7 6 left first quarter. Well, the Mendez. Mendez out to the. To Batiste, to DeRosa. Uh, oh, it's almost a turnover there, but Baker gets it back. Offensive foul. I'm oh, sorry, the foul is actually on, on Dante Law. So Baker's going to come in for two shots. And again, there was almost a turnover there. But Baker, with his quick awareness, was able to get that one back and draw the foul. 6.55 left first quarter. Again, you see top of your screen. We're here at the Girls, Girls, Boys and Girls Club of Pawtucket, Rhode Island, just outside of Providence. The official home court of the Providence Pirates. Who oh, once upon a time were the number four team in the ABA this season. We'll follow all the way down to 23 after a couple losses. Including, uh, I, was, I found this very shocking. They went down to upstate, the Long Island, New York, to play the Hoop Dragons. And they lost to those Hoop Dragons. I found that to be quite the upset. And that's why they're now down. Near, they are now currently at 22 in the ABA standings. Here is Green for the Wolves. And out to Law. We'll get to Law story in a moment. And this one's stolen. Oh, none. Lobo still steals it back to Green for three. And just no good. And then off the top of the backboard. So we talked about it already, actually. Dante Law had an opportunity to go to the Basketball League at the end of the Wolves season last year. Obviously, he was the best player at the time that he left the team. And then he later told owner Adam Blake he was unhappy with his position with the TBL. With TBL. And he's had to come back to the Wolves, and what a shot there for Michael Mendez. Wow. 14-9 score, but a rebound there by Houston. So quick points there for the, for the Wolves. Score should now be 14-11. Reach 14-9 is we reach the six-minute mark. There you go. That's 14-9. 14-11. And yes, the refs thinking what I was thinking. The clock stopped for a few seconds there at exactly six. So we put six seconds off the clock. We at five minutes and 54 seconds up here in the first quarter. 14-11 is your score. Province Pirates lead the Mass Wolves. These two teams met last week. Out at the Wolves then in Pembroke, Massachusetts. Pirates came out on top in that one. And they are, if I'm not mistaken, they are undefeated all time against the Pirates. Against the Wolves, excuse me. See, I told you I get that mixed up. Sorry, those folks. Shot up here. No good. Ooh, Baker with the rebound. Tried it, but couldn't get it. Now here comes Houston. Got a layup. Can't get it to go. Rebounded. Here's... Jimmy Fritzen in the game for the first time. Vasquez's shot is up and it is no good. And rebounded there by Mendez. And out to Baker. Baker out to DeRosa back behind the pat behind the back pass. And shot by DeRosa is good. Oh, so there is the 2022 All-Star Shane DeRosa with four points now here in the quarter. And the Pirates lead by four. Outside to Law. Law outside to Houston. Houston for three. In and out. No good. Rebounded by Baker. And here's DeRosa with the ball. We're at the five-minute mark here in the first quarter. 16-12 is your score. And a pass here to Mendez. Try to push off Lee. Shot up and good. And a good job there by Michael Mendez. Avoiding the foul, by the way. A little, little push there. But he got away with it. 18-12. Nice score. 447 left in the first. And here's Fritzen wearing number 21 this year. Law for three. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Houston, and his rebound is good. And a timeout on the floor. We'll take it with them. We'll be right back. You're watching the ABA on NDBN. Back to the action here. 
Barbara's Pirates lead the Mass Wolves 18-14 with four and a half left here in the first quarter. We are at the Boys and Girls Club of Pawtucket, Rhode Island. The three ball for DeRosa knocks it down. Shane DeRosa with seven points here in the first. And the Pirates lead by seven. And now here's Fritzen. One of the all-stars from last year's Wolves team. Didn't play the first few games. This one tip for taking my law a lot to Vasquez. And Vasquez had to give it inside to Lee. Kwame Lee to the basket. And a nice hook shot there. Find a way to score some points there is Kwame Lee with a nice hook shot to make it a five-point game. We're now under the four-minute mark here in the quarter. And a nice play there, number four. That is just Sean Joshua Winbush. He's coming into the game for the Pirates. Back to a seven-point game. Anthony Parker now in the game. For number 22 in that first game we saw him against the 4-1-3 Elite. Now we're in old number number two from last season. A shot up here by Fritzen, no good. And a offensive foul called against Fritzen. We talked about Anthony Parker, wore number 22 in the first game of the season against the 4-1-3 Elite. And that was his old college number. And that was because Aaron Struthers was not supposed to be with the team at the time. He has since joined the, rejoined the Wolves after last season. And he's taking his number 22 back from Parker. Unfortunately, Struthers is not here tonight as he is coaching Bridgewater State's men's basketball team. And a foul of the foul here. This one's going against the Pirates. All right, here in the first quarter, Shane DeRosa is showing us what he does best. Scoring points. He already has seven points. Here in the, we have still have 3.19 left here in the first quarter. So it's only telling what Shane DeRosa can do here in this game. And here's Fritzen for the Wolves. Trying to cut inside from the free throw line. That one rolls off the back of the rim. No good. Here come the Pirates again at the three-minute mark here in the first. 23-16 is your score. And a shot up. What a shot. Wow. What a incredible shot. There's Rahel Handy coming into the game. Now the Pirates lead by nine. Here's Vasquez. Double teams. Get out to Parker. Parker out to Fritzen. Fritzen for three. Can't get it to go. Taken by DeRosa. What a play there by DeRosa to get away from Parker. DeRosa for another three. Knocks it down. Shane DeRosa with ten points here in the first quarter. And it's a 12-point game. Now here's Vasquez again for the Wolves. And Lee got a little confusion there for a second. Parker now has it. And he'll get it back out to Lee. Lee coming inside of the basket. It's good, but an offensive foul called against the Wolves. So basketball will not count. And the ball will well go back over to the Pirates. With two all the way up here in the quarter. And now DeRozo will come on over for the inbound. Because you got to have somebody there. So again, we're going to be the last to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. We hope you enjoyed all your stuffing, cornbread, turkey, and cranberry sauce, or whatever you might eat on Thanksgiving Day. Here's Handy. Outside to DeRozo. Back inside to Mendez. Mendez looked like he was going to take a shot. Decided not to. Back out to DeRozo. And that one's going out of bounds on Vasquez. Right into the crowd. The VIP section, as you can see at the bottom of your screen. They got a couple... Nice chairs for VIP tickets. Vasquez smacked that one right into one of the empty seats. <laughs> Minute 50 left here in the first quarter. 28-16, the Pirates lead the Mass Wolves. And a shot up here, no good. By Igor Almedia, who accepts it for the first time. And outside, wide open Vasquez for three. And too short. Taken by DeRosa, and he is hit right near the throat area, but a collarbone. There's Jose Mercado stepping in for the first time. Well, that could have been a lot worse than what it looked like, ladies and gentlemen. Was, um, here's Handy with the ball. Handy was another one we saw last year with the Pirates. He really he was really one of those most special players, just like DeRosa. And pretty much a lot of these guys here on the Pirates were very special last year. Showing that again here this year. Shot up by DeRosa is going to not count. That's going to be a foul. DeRosa is going to shoot two, go for two foul shots here in a 12-point game. Rose already has 10 points here in the first quarter, so he's showing up and showing out very early. So I've made a 21 left here in the quarter as well. First shot is up, and it is good. Make that 11 points here for Shane Rosa in the first quarter. 
Again, an ABA and NBN double header tomorrow. We are at Bridgeport, Connecticut as the Bridgeport Kings take on the New Hampshire Kings. Be sure to stay tuned. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for that rebroadcast. The Kings and the Kings for the first time ever. And the second shot by DeRosa is good. Now a 14-point game with 120 left here in the quarter. And it's Chris Green with the ball for the Wolves. And looks like he's about to take a deep pass, but he doesn't. Out to Fritzen. Fritz is playing his third game. He was not there for the opener. Shot up by Houston. It's no good. Rebounded by... There's... There's Almedia. You know, Handy has it outside to Almedia. And Almedia to the basket. Can't finish the job. Taken by Parker. A final minute here in the first. 30-16. Slater score outside to Fritzen. Out to Jose Mercado. His first shot is up and it is good. Jose Mercado had a great game in the opener against the Elite. Despite the loss. And now he has his first points here in the game. This one outside for three, no good. But rebounded. Back inside and second shot of no good. Here's Mercado with 30 seconds left. Mercado has a wide open lane to the basket and it's good. And the foul. What a play there for Jose Mercado who really took over that game against the Elite back in October. Having a chance here, a three point play. Puck now stop, 24.2 seconds left here in the opening quarter. And we are at the Boys and Girls Club of Paul Tucker, Rhode Island, just outside of Providence. And here we go. The foul shots from Jose Mercado. They put about a third of a second left on the clock. That's 23.5, and the shot by Mercado is good. A three point play there, making it a nine point game. And now we are under 22 seconds left. Handy. Is it outside? That is Avery DeBrito. Who now has it again. Coming back inside. DeBrito up shot is up then. No good. Seven seconds left. And the rebound is good by Winbush. Final shot here from Mercado. And not gonna get it off. And that is the end of the first quarter. The Providence Pirates lead the Mass Wolves 32-21. We'll be right back. For the second quarter, you're watching the ABA on NABN. Start of the second quarter, everybody. The Providence Pirates lead the Mass Wolves 32 to 21 here in the ABA on NABN. I'm Stephen Irwin. We're here at the Boys and Girls Club of Paul Tucker, Rhode Island, and a foul here against that is the Brito offensive foul. So the Bulls get the ball back down to 11. Again, the, the story of the quarter was obviously who else but Shane DeRosa. He had 10 points in that first quarter. They've had around 35 points in the last game against the Wolves last weekend. As the Pirates came out on top, out in Pembroke, Massachusetts. Now these two teams meet here in Rhode Island. They'll meet again February 4th, the week before Super Bowl 58 at the Andre McCoy Recreation Center in New Bedford, Massachusetts. The Wolves' original home. And a shot up there by Mercado. That was a nice shot, but couldn't get it to go. But the rebound is good by Houston. Savon Houston doing his job here with the offensive rebounds. Doing a great job. Nine point game. Here's the Brito. Inside. And a shot. No good, but a foul is going to be going against Parker. Parker bumped into Winbush as he was putting that shot up. And so Winbush will come in for two foul shots. 32 23 is your scores. See top of your screen, top left. Boys and Girls Club of Pawtucket. The official home court of the Providence Pirates. First shot. Is off the mark and get it to go. So while the ABA and NBA is doing their own doubleheader, the Pirates are doing their doubleheader, doubleheader as well. Tomorrow they're off to Lewiston, Maine to take on the Maine Bulldogs for the second time this season. These two teams met, those two teams met here in Pawtucket with the Pirates coming out on top in blowout fashion. So it'll meet again for the second time tomorrow in Lewiston, Maine. That game will be live streamed, by the way, on the, the Sports Fan Base Network, SFBN. Shot up here. Oh, nice shot there by Green. 33-25, gate point game. Here's Handy going against Green. Handy, oh, got away from Green for a second. Three ball on oh, off the back of the rim. That would have been a beautiful possession there. And the ball goes over the river and through the woods. <laughs> that was way over the head of Green. Green looking for a foul. He's not going to get it, though. And a 3D rule now in effect. So again, ladies and gentlemen, 
a, a two-point shot here is three points for the Pirates, and a three-point shot is four points for the Pirates. So a turnover in the backcourt. And that is the ABA 3D rule. You don't see that in the NBA, ladies and gentlemen. Just saying. So here's the Brito outside to Handy. And now I get back inside to the Brito. Brito coming inside, and there's a three point shot, and it is no good. So no, nothing doing there, and a foul. As Handy goes down. Right, ran into Mercado, or Mercado ran into him, whatever you, however you want to say it. Russia going to say that Handy ran into Mercado. And that was a foul. So the 3D roll is, brings up nothing. Here come the Wolves, down eight. Out to Law. Law coming into the basket, shot up, and knocks it down. Good job there by Dante Law. Back here for his second season, as are several Wolves players, including Anthony Parker, Jimmy Fritzen, and Taylor Carlson. Just to name a few. Aaron Struthers is also returning. Shot up here is... No good. Rebounded by the Wolves. Aaron Struthers will rejoin the team in the next game. He is not here tonight. He's on the act. Also not here tonight, by the way, is former head coach. Has Carlson for three. Can't get that to go. But rebounded here by Providence. Adam Blake is not here tonight either. He is coaching at UMass Law. Boom! The slam by Joshua Winbush. First slam of the night. Let's see if we'll see any more. Here's Law, loses it trying to go to the basket, and they're going to call. And I, I, all the Pirates were saying that's, that's their ball. Timeout on the floor, 9-18 left, 35-27 is your score. We'll be right back. You're watching the ABA on NBN. Ladies and gentlemen, the Providence Pirate, the only the second known mascot here in New England when it comes to the ABA. The other one, obviously, the 4 one leads, Mr. Buckets. So out of the timeout, Pirates get the ball back. Yeah. Up by eight, 35-27 to score, nine, 13 left here in the half. Fast-paced game, and now here is number two. Yes, Luz Agrate, first time we're hearing his name. Getting out to Kevin Briggs, who's back in the game. Briggs, shot is up, and off the rim, no good, and rebounded by Law. Nice job there by Law, getting it. Going out of bounds, here's Mercado, back to Law. And, ooh, block party, everyone's invited. Dante Law went for the slam and jam and ding-dong, and Briggs said, no, 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 not today. <laughs> well that was a great play there by Briggs nice effort there by Law but Briggs won the battle at the basket now here's the Rosa and oh there's another slap away by Vasquez second time that Vasquez just slapped the ball away from the Rosa now the burrito comes out Mendez coming back in. 35-27, third score. We got 6.42 left here in the half. And so here's DeRosa again on Vasquez. That's been an interesting matchup. Wide open. And oh, now it's going for the three there. Is Baker not going for the three. And that's an offensive foul against Baker. Runs right into Law. And let's wait for a second to see if... No, actually, they're calling it against Law. That's surprising. It looked like 100%. Everybody watching this can see. It looked like, our, it looked like Baker ran right into Law. But they're saying Law ran into Baker. Okay. Back to the action here. Kevin Briggs. Out to the road. That's not the road. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Guy got All these guys got beards. I <laughs> can't keep up. Briggs. And that's a foul there against the Pirates. And it looks like we might have a technical here against Briggs as he's talking some trash. To... No foul shots. It might not be a technical after all. We do have 6.20 left in the half, however. 35-27, slow score. Here come the Wolves. Here is Vasquez. Vasquez inside to Lee. Lee to the basket. Shot is good and a foul. Another now chance here for Kwame Lee to make it a three-point three point play. And a six-point game with 6.07 left here in the half. Providence Pirates, once upon a time, the number four team in the ABA. Now sitting at number 22. After a little slump they had. 
they are slowly bouncing back. They look to bounce back here tonight against the Wolves. And tomorrow when they head up to Lewiston, Maine to take on the Maine Bulldogs. And a shot there by Lee Nogo. He gets the rebound, but it's blocked. But it's taken back by Law. What a sequence of events here. Outside, Houston to Green. I got side to Law. And Law to the basket, boom! And there you go. Dante Law with the slam. Timeout, Pirates, 35-31. 7.52 left in the half. We'll be right back. You're watching the ABA on NABN. So the Wolves have come back to make us a four-point game here with 7.52. That's, that's what I said for a timeout. 7.52 left in the half. 35-31. The Parliament's Pirates lead the Mass Wolves here at the Boys and Girls Club of Paul Tucker, Rhode Island. Here on the ABA and NBN. I'm Stephen Err. And there's Sean DeRosa with another two-point shot. He's up to 12 points here in this game. And if you're new to the program, Shane DeRosa is a baller. Three ball. Bang, bang, bang. Chris Green getting in on the scoring. And now back to a three-point game. And there's number two. We don't have an A for number two. This one outside. Three ball. Bang, bang, bang. Well, you can do, I can do better. And that is a three ball for Michael Mendez. Back to the action, following the ball here. And it's Houston. A hook shot. Uh, that one's no good. Six point game. Here come the Pirates. And Mendez getting away from all the defenders here. In past Houston, and that's the Voig, seven out of bounds, that shot blocked by Lee. Rebounded by Houston, now here's Vasquez out to Law. Law to Green, Green another three. And that one, you could tell from the get-go, is gonna be no good. Here come the parts again, and deep pass here to Mendez. Mendez spinning away, and a travel called. Took one too many steps there. And so the ball goes back over to the Wolves in a six-point game. Again, six point game here with six and a half left here in the half. 40 34, the Pirates lead the Wolves. And here's Green. Shot from the foul line is off the back of the rim and no good. Rebounded by Mendez and hit you now. Number two has it now. Again, the Wolves finished starting 0 3 for the second time. Second time in their first two years. Three ball. Bang, bang, bang. Another one from Michael Mendez. And the Pirates extend their lead to eight. Pirates, and the Wolves, excuse me, have never started 0-4 in their two years. They started 0-3 last year before getting their first victory. Three ball for Law is no good. They're trying to avoid a first 0-4 start. Rebounded by Vasquez inside of Law. Baker tried to block. Oh, Law can't get the basket. And a little collision there. Ball going back over to the Pirates. For the, the Wolves, excuse me. And now some substitutions. Green will step out. Jimmy Fritz will step in. Baker will step out. And DeRosa will step in. 5.43 left in the half. 32-34. The Pirates have extended their lead back up to eight after being up by... After Wolves made a three-point game. And now offensive foul against the Wolves. Ball go back over to the Pirates. 5.37 left in the half. And here's Agri. Lewis Agri, number two, with the ball. I got to Briggs. Briggs for three. Just short. And Houston smacked it away right into the hands of Batista, Jonathan Batista. And Mendez, fake shot is intercepted. <laughs> he tried the snake eyes. It didn't work. And inside to Lee and basket. At least I don't know if they're going to call the foul against the Wolves. So no basket, but the Wolves will get the inbound. In an eight-point game, 5-14 left. And another whistle. And we do now have officially have three referees. We had one at five minutes before the game. We had another one as the game began. And now the third one comes in during the game. So everybody's here. And so no points there for Kwame Lee. He made the basket, but the foul was called before the shot. So Wolves do maintain possession. This one out to Fritzen. Fritzen coming inside of the basket, outside to Law. Law to Parker. Parker for three. Bang! Anthony Parker, who scored the first ever points in Wolves history last season with the three ball there. Making it a five-point game. Out to Bautista. 
uh, excuse me, DeRosa. DeRosa on Law, two All-Stars from last season. Two of the best players in the ABA. And DeRosa wins the battle over Law. Now, what a aggressive play there. And a foul going against Batista. He was very aggressive there on Fritzen, trying to get that ball. So Fritzen will inbound here. And he'll out to Vasquez. 4.39 left in the half. 44.37 as you see top of your screen. The Pirates, Pirates lead the Mass Wolves. And here's Vasquez outside to Lee. Lee for three. Bang! It's a two-point game with 4.24 left in the half. Here's Batista inside. Covered by Parker. And the shot. Nice play there. And there's Winbush getting away from Parker to get the basket. As we are about to reach the four-minute mark here in the first half. 46-40. Vasquez. Almost had a lane there to the basket, but couldn't get to it. Three fifty-seven left. Forty-six forty. Your score. Pirates have led by as much as twelve, and have trailed by as or have led by as little as two. Now back to a six-point game. Parker to Lee. Lee just made it through in the last whole possession. See what he can do here. He'll get out to Law. Law for three. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by the Pirates. And here comes Batista outside to DeRosa. DeRosa over Lee and knocks it down. <laughs> Shane DeRosa with a strong first half for the Pirates. Who now lead by eight again. And Parker outside to Vasquez. Snake has to Law to Lee. Leave another three. Can't get that one to go. Rebounded by Batista. A 48-40 score. Here come the Pirates again. Batista up top. Knocks it down. And it's a 10-point game. Timeout Wolves with 3.09 left in the half. We'll be right back. You're watching the ABA on NBN. 3.08 left here in the first half. 50-40 is your score. The Pirates lead the Mass Wolves. We are here at the Boys and Girls Club of Pawtucket. On the ABA on NBN, I'm Stephen Err. Thank you all for joining us here on this rebroadcast. This one outside to Vasquez. Off the back foot three, no good. It's a nice attempt there by Vasquez. We couldn't get it to go. And now rebounded here by the Pirates. And that's a two-point shot. It's no good regardless. And rebounded by Houston. Houston gets it up to Fritzen. Again, it was a two-point game not too long ago. Now back up to ten. Parker for three. And that one's good. Wow. Off the backboard. Anthony Parker, another three. Now here's Batista against Fritzen. These two two have been very aggressive toward one another here in the first half. DeRosa. And that one's stolen by Houston. No miscommunication there between Winbush and DeRosa. And a wide open lane to Mercado who gets the basket. We're about to reach the two minute mark here in that first half. 50-45. Wolves closing the gap once more. Here's Batista. Getting away from Fritzen. Outside to Mendez. And Mendez. No look pass. Out to DeRosa. DeRosa for three. That one's too short. And rebounded by Fritzen. Who has chin transition. Fritzen with the basket. And now that, again, down to a three-point game. Back and forth we go in this very entertaining first half here in Paul Tucker, Rhode Island. Shot out for DeRosa. What a shot there by Shane DeRosa. Again, really taking over here in the first half. Vasquez for three, too far, but the rebound. Again, there's Houston doing a great job with the offensive rebounds. Back to a three-point game with 111 left here in the half. And here's DeRosa on Vasquez. Spin, trying to spin away here. Shot up, and another great shot by Shane DeRosa. If this was NFL Blitz 2000, Shane DeRosa would be on fire. <laughs> Final minute here in the first half, and a shot there, no good by Fritzen. I don't know what that was. DeRosa and foul. As Wimbush goes to the basket, gets nothing there.
Five point game, 43.7 seconds left. And so we're gonna follow the ball here because here's Armani Baker. He's gonna inbound it here to Batista. 54-49, the Pirates lead the Wolves. And travel call against the Pirates. Ball going back over to the Wolves. 33.6 Three, seconds left here in the half. Five point game. Very entertaining first half it's been. Dominant effort by Shane DeRosa, but the Wolves all together, especially leading the way, is Savon Houston with his offensive rebounding. Have kept him in this game. And a couple threes here by Kwame Lee and Anthony Parker. Remember talking about the first game against the Elite. Wolves love shooting the three. They're doing a much better job here than they did in that opener. 20 seconds left, first half. But to DeRosa. And look, he's going to look like he's he wants the final shot here. Brady rule now in effect. DeRosa for four. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by who? Somebody get the ball. Baker has it to the basket. Shot is blocked. To buzzer. No. That's the end of the first half. The Providence Pirates lead the Mass Wolves 54 49. Stay tuned for our halftime report coming up right after this. You're watching the ABA on NEBN. And we welcome you back in outside our broadcast booth, everybody. I'm Stephen Erd. The Bowers Pirates lead the Mass Wolves 54 49. It's been a very exciting first half. It's been led by Shane DeRosa for the Pirates, who has about 20 points in this first half. But for the Wolves, it has been the whole team led by Shavon Houston and his offensive rebounding that has really kept them in this game. What are we going to see in the second half? There's only one way to find out. Let's get to it. Second half from here. Paul Tucker Rhode Island coming up right now. Start of the second half, everybody. The Providence Pirates lead the Mass Wolves 54-49 here at the Boys and Girls Club of Paul Tucker Rhode Island. Here on the ABA on NABN, I'm Stephen Erd. Thank you all for joining us for your broadcast. Very impressive. Very entertaining first half, I meant to say. We'll talk about our halftime show. Now shot up by Lee. First one is no good. Rebounded by Vasquez, who gets up the law on last shot. Taken away by, here's Mendez. Michael Mendez had himself a nice first half. His shot is up and no good, but he gets his own rebound. And knocks down his bounce back shot. We got both teams. Great efforts all around. But again, the story of the game has been Shane DeRosa, who is he's absolutely on fire. The former All-Star. Projected to be an All-Star again this year. That shot outside. Houston for three, knocks it down. Back to a four-point game. We don't have the exact numbers of Shane DeRosa, what he did, but he has approximately 20 points around there. The final stats follow the Pirates at Pirates ABA on Instagram. And no reach-in foul was called against Vasquez, and that's the third time that DeRosa has had a ball smacked away by Vasquez. Yeah, put, put that part of our blooper reel at the end of the year. <laughs> Shot up by DeRosa. Oh, at the buzzer! Oh, ho ho! Shane DeRosa doing what he does best. Oh, my goodness. Green outside to Houston, back out to Green. And back to Houston. And the shot, and that's a shooting foul against Briggs, who stole that one. He ripped the one out of the hands of Houston. And so Houston's coming to the, sh the line for two foul shots. Shot up and rolls around the rim is no good. The 52 your score. And a shot there by Houston is good. 10.56 left here in the third. Just getting started here, second half, ladies and gentlemen. Very entertaining first half between the Pirates and the Wolves. Hope for more here in the second half. Mendez. That's a three ball. Knocks it down. There's Batista with the three. A lot of highlights coming in our reel for this one. It's been a very entertaining game. And a whistle here. And the Wolves are going to inbound. The clock's still running, by the way. We have 10.20 now counting. 
We do have one ref here watching the clock. I see a right of your screen, but he has not blown his whistle. So we keep playing. Green to Lee. Lee to Houston. Houston for three. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Puerto Rosa. Out to Batista. Batista has a, had a wide open lane. He couldn't have gone to the basket. He decided not to. And another whistle here. With 10 minutes exactly on the clock here in the third quarter. 61-53. Problem with Pirates. Lead the Mass Wolves. is going to inbound here. So we get back to the action. And it's going to get it to, let's see, out to DeRosa. This one goes inside the Briggs. Briggs off his back foot. Can't get it to go, but nice try. And uh, Vasquez loses it, gets it back out to Law. Law to Lee. And offensive foul called there. Wasn't sure if it was against Lee or against Briggs. 9-15 left here third quarter. 61-53. Province Pirates need the Mass Wolves and that foul was against Briggs. Outside to Lee. Lee, quarter three. Can't get it to go. And here come the Wolves again. Here The Pirates again, excuse me. Here's Mendez. Mendez trying to go inside. Lose it. Gets it back. And nice pass there to Baker who finishes the job. Houston looked for a foul. He's not going to get one. What a shot there by Armani Baker. Ten point game. In favor of the Pirates. Law. To the basket. No good. No surprise there was no travel called there. But here's Bautista. Shot up. Alley oop looked like. You no. Know, and it's smacked away by Lee. Ball back over to the Pirates. Ten point game here. Nine away left in the third. Very fast paced first half that was. Only lasted. Just under an hour in real time. And already here, nine minutes left in the third. And Briggs on league and out to DeRosa. DeRosa deep three. Oh, almost knocked it down. But spins around the rim and no good. Outside to Vasquez, going to three. And that one hits the backboard. Here's Batista in transition. Gets it outside to Baker. Baker back out to DeRosa. Still a 10 point game here in Pawtucket. Rosa going against Green, gets it outside of Batista, inside to Mendez. Mendez to the Rosa, shot up, and at the buzzer, no good. No shot clock violation. We continue. Green inside to Lee. Lee, and a foul was called against Mendez. He might have been a shooting foul regardless because Mendez. Blocked that shot. It was near the goal. Oh, did the basket. But now they're getting the ball back to the Pirates. And so the foul looks like it was against Lee, actually. It wasn't against Briggs. Or Mendez, excuse me. Pirates ball again with 10-point lead inside. And there's Tom Garg Jr., number 22. First time we're hearing Tom Garg Jr.'s name. And a whistle here. 6.08 left. You hear the crowd getting into it a little bit here. Cheering for their Pirates. Looking to sweep a weekend doubleheader. Obviously, they got the game here tonight and tomorrow. They got the game against the Maine Bulldogs up in Lewiston. Greg's waiting for the inbound here. Not sure what's exactly what's going on. 8.08 left in the third. If I said 6.08, I do apologize. As you can tell on top of your screen, the rafters are just in the way of the clock. Not enough to where we can't see what's going on. But just enough to make sure we got this at the right time. And, and we have a time by the parts. So we'll take it with them right back. You watch the ABA and IDBN. We're just playing. You just want to be starting something on Michael Jackson during the commercial break. And then they... They just want to be starting the game clock because they ran all the way down to 742. <laughs> they put it back to 803. And here's the basketball breaker. Oh, too much power on that one. Couldn't get it to go. Here's Vasquez for the Wolves. Has the lane inside. Going to it. Now back outside the green. Green for three. And that one off the rim. 
7.43 now in the third quarter. And here's Garrett Jr. His first shot is up and no good. First time we're call, the second time we're calling Garrett Jr.'s name. Don't have any points yet. 63-53. Seven and a half left here in the third quarter. Pirates over the Wolves. Second meeting this year between the two teams. They'll meet one more time February 4th, 2024 in New Bedford. And a three for Chris Green. Making it a seven-point game. As I was just mentioning, these two teams will meet one more time at the DeAndre McCoy Recreation Center in New Bedford, Massachusetts on February 4th, 2024. One week from Super Bowl 58 in Las Vegas. Seven minutes left here in the third here in Pawtucket. It's a seven-point game, 63-56. Here's Parker back in the game outside to Vasquez. Vasquez inside the lead. Two of the tallest guys here in the stadium, in the arena, or building, whatever you call it, going against one another as Lee and Briggs. Lee shot no good, rebounded by Briggs, and Garrick Jr., another shot no good, but the rebound there by a Baker is good. Pirates now lead by 11. Law for the Wolves, Hat gives it to Green. Green. Outside to Vasquez. Vasquez inside to, to Lee. And no foul called. But turnover. Inside it. There's the Rosa again. And that's a shot for Briggs who knocks it down. It's 5 16 left here in the third. 11 point game. Then tipped away and intercepted by DeRosa. Here come the Pirates. DeRosa in transition. No good, but the rebound by Baker. Shot up. He can't get it to go again. Briggs out to DeRosa. DeRosa for three. And no good. And the Pirates continue to try and get the shot up. And a pandemonium the finally ball. <laughs> the ball finally goes out of bounds. And they're saying it's Pirates ball. And Andy Parker cannot believe it. It's all smiles here for the Pirates. Wolves wondering what's going on. Parker was very surprised that ball did not go back over to the Wolves. Well, that was ball. That was a that was a, a sequence of events there, if I do say so myself. That was a lot going on there. Now Gary gets side and a shot there by Mendez is good. And the Pirates have their biggest lead at 13-69-56. And a foul against the Rosa. Five eleven left here, third quarter. The Pirates have their biggest lead of the game at thirteen. The Wolves are getting the ball back after the foul on the Rosa. And Parker to Vasquez. Vasquez up top to Houston near the basket. Shot is up and no good. Around the world it goes. And nothing to stand for. DeRosa, his shot is no good. From the foul line, rebounded. I got to DeRosa. And a back shot, no good. Offensive foul called against the Pirates. Got there by Almedia, no good. Ball back over to the Wolves. 69-56, they score. With 4.46 left here in the third. And the park polls look to see who's going to rebound. It's going to be Parker again. Gets out to Green. Back out to Parker. Look at it. It's been one, once upon a time. It was a two-point game. And now the Pirates are up by 13. And here's Mercado. Mercado to Parker. Parker shot up and can't get it to go. Rebound by Houston. And Houston. Foul is called. We talked about during the halftime show. We talked about during the first half. Shane Houston, Savon Houston, excuse me, has done a great job at offensive rebounding here for the Wolves today. Couldn't get it to go there, but he does draw the foul, and he will shoot two foul shots at a 13-point game with 4:26 left here in the third quarter. And we are here at the Boys and Girls Club, Pawtucket, Rhode Island. That's outside of Providence. That shot up by Houston is good. And 
And a second shot by Houston is also good. He knocks on both his free throw shots, making an 11-point game with 4.26 left here in the third. Garrick inside to Mendez. Mendez with the slam and jam and ding dong. Second slam of the night for the Pirates. Making it a 13 point game once again. And here's Mercado outside to. Number eight, there's Luke Burke. First time we're calling his name tonight. Fritzen now has it inside to Burke, and Burke can't get to it. Handy does, but a foul. Well, the Pirates maintain possession here, and Handy has it. With 3.53 left in the third. Outside to Mendez. There's the way up there for our media. Now the biggest lead at 15 here for the Pirates. Under four left in the third is Green. Outside to Fritzen. Fritzen for three. Gets it to go. Closing the gap little by little as Fritzen knocks on a three. Back in the game for the Pirates is Aubrey DeBrito, who loses it here. Gets it back, though. Nice job there. And inside, layup is good for Amidia. 35-61 with 3.13 left in the third. And here's Fritzen. That's a shooting foul against the Pirates. First in with 3.07 left here in the third and 14 point game to shoot two foul shots. First one is up and it is good. Now uh, substitutions. Mendez steps out. Second shot by Fritzen is good. So he makes both of his foul shots, making it a 14 point game once again. A 12 point game, excuse me. 75 63 is your score as you see now are on your top of your screen. And here is Handy outside to Gark. Gark out to the Brito. Now Media has it. He's coming alive here in the third. Pass up top. And the layup there for Woodbush is good. Now here's Fritzen. Tell Mercado to come back inside. It's that to Mercado. Now Mercado will land in the basket. Shot is up and no good. Rebounded by Houston. Again with the offensive rebound. That's one he can't get, but there's going to be a foul against Providence. So once again... Houston unable to get the offensive rebound, but he will shoot two foul shots. He made his last two. Makes his third in a row. 218 left in the third. 77-64. Pirates Pirates. Need the Mass Wolves. And the second shot by Houston is good. So four consecutive free throws here for Savon Houston. And it's a 12-point game with 216 left in counting. Here's Garrick. Now outside to DeBrito. And that's a three ball. No good by Garrick. And here's Mercado up top and gets the basket. And now we're down to a 10 point game here. Minute and a half, a minute, minute 50 left, excuse me, here in the third. And a turnover, Houston now in transition. Taking it away from Handy to the basket. No good, but a foul. And they're going to take ball going back over to the Pirates. So the foul is against the Wolves. And once again, Taylor Houston is in disbelief. One forty-two. look like they on the clock. 77-67. Uh, 
And now, as you see there, head coach for the Pirates giving our guys the squeegee to mop up the floor a little bit. So while they mop up the swept, take a break. Be right back. You're watching the ABA on NBN. And you see right there, gentlemen, that's where the mop will sit for right now. So we're up to this third quarter. Shot up. No good, but a foul is called against, I believe, against the Pirates. Well, let's find out. 135 left here in the third quarter. 77-67. Now, fouls house against the Wolves because Handy's going to the line for two foul shots. And this is the second of three meetings between the Pirates and the Wolves in 2023-24. They'll meet one more time on February 4th, 2024 at the Andre McCoy Recreation Center in New Bedford, Massachusetts. That one week before Super Bowl 58. And shot by Handy is good. 78-67, so now your score. And here's Fritzen with the ball for the Wolves. Fritzen almost trying for three. Here's Burke at the Fritz, back at the Fritzen, and he loses it. And they call a reach-in foul against Handy, who is, he is not happy with that one. He slams the ball into the floor. Ryan Handy, a little frustrated there. Again, slamming the ball on the on the court. And that's back to the action. And a shot by Mercado. Three ball is good. And they're going to count it. Three ball for Jose Mercado. Back to an eight-point game. Outside to Handy. Minute 10 left third quarter. Handy to the basket. Shot up and knocks it down. What a shot there. And now a whistle. Not sure what the whistle's for. They gave him the basket. It's a 10 point game. But now you see Vasquez shooting two foul shots. Or three, it might be. Look, there's a technical foul call on somebody here for the Pirates. Not exactly sure who. Shot up and knocks it down. 105 left now, a nine point game, 80 71. Shot up is good. Second shot is good there for Vasquez. Let's say they give him one more here. I'm not sure if they will. They won't. They'll get him. They're going to follow the ball here. They're going to inbound. Wolves will get the ball back in an eight-point game. 105 left here in the third. Ball to Fritzen. And here comes Fritzen, and now another whistle. With 101 left here in the third quarter. Pirates call timeout. We'll take it with them. 80-72, 101 left here in the third. We'll be right back. You're watching the ABA on NABN. Are some of the sponsors here for the Mass uh, the, excuse me, I stated again, the Promise Pirates, including SFBN, as you see there, top right of your screen. Fritzen now kind of taking a couple of foul shots here after the timeout. 101 left here in the third. Now 80 72 is your score. Should be upgraded to 80 73 here in a minute. Should stay tuned. <laughs> and the second foul shot by Fritzen is good. So he makes both his foul shots. And now they put it to 73. The final minute here in the third. Seven point game. They're entertaining first three quarters. Or can, only, can only offer some more of the same in the fourth. And here's a shot. No good. But a foul. As the burrito. That one floats up in the air and doesn't go in. 50 seconds left exactly. Seven point game. And the Braves not going to shoot two foul shots, so the foul is against the Wolves. First one is up, and it is good. You can hear the swish on that one from here inside the building. Back to an eight-point game. And the second shot by Dorito is good. 82-73. And we are here in the final minute of the third quarter. Been an entertaining first three quarters. We could hope for more in the fourth. Here's Vasquez. One it's Agri. 
And this one is going out of bounds. Through the hands of Lee, Wall tried to save it, wasn't able to. But back over to the Pirates in a nine point game. And Garrick's going to be the one that inbounds. That's that great. Gets it back, though. 30 seconds left here in the third. And a shot up. No good, but a foul. See if it's, it might be against Houston here. That's what it looked like. And it was. So Garrett Jr. with a chance for two foul shots. 25 seconds left. 82-73. Her shot is good. 83-73. And ABA on NBA doubleheader will be in Bridgeport, Connecticut tomorrow as the Kings take on the Kings. The New Hampshire Kings take on the Bridgeport Kings. And Bridgeport, Connecticut tomorrow, 4 p.m. tip-off. Rebroadcast on NBA. Meanwhile, again, the Pirates will also be headed on the road so tomorrow as they will head to Lewiston, and Maine to take on the Maine Bulldogs. And all knocked away by Garrick. Goes out of bounds. Back over to the Wolves. 15.1 seconds left. And Green gets it. And there's <laughs> another one. That goes out of bounds. That one goes out of bounds against Agri. 14.7 seconds left there. Third quarter. And now Lawton mounds it. Out to Green. 10 seconds left. Let's see who gets the final shot here in this quarter. Green gets this shot and knocks it down. Nine point game, let's see, Pirates can do it! At the buzzer! No. And the shot wouldn't count anyway, and the three. The Pirates lead the Wolves, 84-75. We'll be right back for the fourth and final quarter. You're watching the ABA on NBN. Start of the fourth and final quarter, everybody, as we adjust the brightness here. Pirates, Pirates lead the Mass Wolves, 84-75. We are here at the Boys and Girls Club of Hall Talk of Rhode Island, here at the ABA on NBN. I'm Stephen Err. Thank you for joining us here on this rebroadcast. And a shot there by Houston is no good. Rebounded by Michael, Me Michael Mendez. Second meeting between these two teams this season. And a, that's a two-point shot no good regardless by Garrick Jr. These two teams met just last week out in Pembroke, Massachusetts with the Pirates coming on top in that one. That was a rescheduled game, by the way. They were supposed to play on November 5th out in Foxborough, Massachusetts. But due to the Patriots having a home game, they decided, let's not play in Fox. Let's not play in Foxborough the same day the Patriots are, because the traffic was going to be horrendous. So they moved the game from the fifth to the eighteenth. Shot up here is good by Green. Eighty-four seventy-six is your score. The official home court of the Province Pirates, right here at the Boys and Girls Club of Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Last year we were at a game, not any event, but you know, me and uh, somebody else I used to know. We went to a Pirates game for a little fun and entertainment, merriment, whatever you call it. They were playing at the Boys and Girls Club of Warwick at the time. And what an arena that was. I have pictures somewhere. If I find them, I'll share them on my social medias. And the shot there is good by Briggs. 86-77. Here comes Law for the Bulls. And that's a two-point shot, but it's too strong anyway. Rebounded by Agri. That's a DeRosa. DeRosa inside of the basket. Lamp is good. 11 point game. The Pirates begin to pull away here. And here's Vasquez outside to Lee, outside to Houston. Houston almost went for three, inside not two. Take it inside. And a whistle as Law jumps on that one. Ball going to go to the Wolves. 90-77. 10.56 left here in the game. Vasquez. Back inside to Houston. Houston outside of Vasquez. Vasquez. Three ball. And in and out. And a deep pass here to Rosa. Going against Vasquez now. Rosa slipping away. He has a wide level to lay the basket and knocks it down. And Shane DeRosa really taking over in this game. 
And the Pirates lead by 15 with 10 minutes left. Let's say Houston. Houston for three. Off the back of the rim. Rebounded by Mendez. Again, the Wolves looking to avoid it. A first 0-4 start in franchise history. That was like a two-point shot from here. It's no good regardless. Three matter by Mendez. No, break, excuse me. He gets the rebound. He can't get it to go either. Taken by Green. Outside to a wide open Mercado. Mercado for three. And it was tipped. <laughs> no good. Alley-ooped to Mendez. It don't work. He does get the ball back. And he gets the layup. Timeout, Wolves, and a 17-point game with 9.21 left. So we'll be right back. You're watching the ABA and NABN. Biggest lead of the night here for the Providence Pirates. They lead by 17, 94-77 with 9.16 left here in the game. Over the Masked Wolves, we're here once again, ladies and gentlemen, at the Boys and Girls Club of Paul Tucker, Rhode Island. The ABA and NABN, our weekend doubleheader. I'm Stephen Herr, and tomorrow we'll be out in Bridgeport, Connecticut. As the Kings take on the Kings. The Bridgeport Kings and the Connecticut Kings be for the first time ever. Law for three. Knocks it down. And so the Wolves continuing to try and make a miraculous comeback here. About the, about the game mark here outside. Batista back in the game. And the shot there is good. And there is the big man again. Briggs. Back up to a 17 point game. Houston, shot is blocked by Briggs. <laughs> so on back-to-back -back possessions, Briggs again, doing his thing. And a foul is called. And again, there's the cheers from the Pirates bench. They're loving it. And now everybody wants to inbound this one. But Batista's going to get it. And he'll get it back. We got 8-19 left here in the game. We have a 17-point game. And a travel call there against the Pirates. Ball go back over to the Wolves. Well, unfortunately, I don't have the Wolves' upcoming schedule on my on a hand right now. As we mentioned before, the Pirates do have another game tomorrow out in Lewiston, Maine. They take on the Maine Bulldogs, who they've already beaten once this season. And a slip there by him. Baker is good. A 21-point game. Give me a 19-point game. That's eight minutes left. My math was off. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Parker out to Lee. Lee back out to Parker. Call to three. Too much power on that one and rebounded by Batista. And a wide open lane, but for Batista, he lost it for a second. Had to get it out, back outside to Mendez. Parker now Mendez, and a shot is no good. And taken by the Wolves. Here comes Vasquez. Seven and a half left here in the, in the game. That's a two point shot for Parker, who knocks it down. It's not going to. It's going to cut into the lead just a little bit, but you're getting more than that from the Wolves at this point. Down by, again, down by 17. That's a seven minute mark. Shot there by Briggs is no good. Here comes Law. Law outside to Vasquez. To Parker, another two point shot. But the rebound by Law is good. So here come the Pirates. They are, again, cutting into this lead little by little. And a charge here. Let's see who is it against though? the question. 6-19 left here in the game. 15 point score. And our substitutions here for the Pirates. It's Baker, Mendez. Your step out. For the first time seeing Jeremiah Price, number 14, step into the game. And Bautista, after DeRosa, DeRosa off his back foot. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Parker. The wall almost lost it for a second. Gets it back, gets it to the law, and here come the Wolves with 6-10 left. Parker for three. Air ball. 
And that was the first air ball we called here tonight. That type of game. That type of game. Very entertaining. Rosa shot is up and no good. I don't know. Rebounded by Law. Law for three. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Winbush who gets it to Batista. Again, okay, the Pirates, after a little skid after being the number four team, fell down to number 23. Have worked their way up to number 22 in the ABA standings. And depending on what we see from the rest of the ABA here this weekend, uh, that shot blocked by Lee goes out of bounds. Might see the Pirates sneak back up into the top 20. We do know the 413 Elite have stuck up into the top 20 there, number 16 in the ABA standings. They're taking on the Coney Island Thunder, who are owned by Bennington Martin's owner, Sean Pratt. So Sean Pratt has two teams in the ABA, one in Bennington, Vermont, and one in Coney Island, right outside of New York City. So congratulations, Mr. Pratt, on getting that done. That's a pretty big accomplishment here in amateur basketball. It's three ball there for Vasquez off the mark. And looks like, yes, that was it. That one ball was last touched by Parker, so we'll go to bounce on him. And now score breeze 83 to nothing in favor of the Wolves. Obviously, that's not right. Might be 183. Make it more believable. And that's just how the scoreboard works. So I think I might just roll with that, ladies and gentlemen. 183 with five and a half left. Batista. Oh, excuse me, it's Rosa. I get the last name mixed up. Rosa shot up and knocks it down. 102 83 with 515 left in the game. There's Vasquez. Foul. Clock stop, 5-11 left. And again, you might see 80-32, but it's actually 102 for the Pirates. Say 102-83, 19-point game. And Vasquez is going to come into line for two foul shots. Be sure to stay tuned to American Basketball Association's Instagram at American Basketball Association. And for us here in the New England area, that's ABA East Region on Instagram. Updating us on all the final scores and standings. Of course, follow us on Facebook, NEBN. We're on X, NEBN14. Instagram, and underscore B, underscore E, underscore B, underscore N, underscore. For the highlights from this game and tomorrow's game between the Kings and the Kings. And that one off the, looked like off the hand of Fritzen. Going out of bounds. This one outside. Shot up by Price, knocks it down. What a shot by Jeremiah Price. And he makes it a 20 point game. Pirates well on their way to victory here. So at this point, they will be looking to sweep the double head. We can double header tomorrow against the Maine Bulldogs and a foul here against Fritzen, who's going to go to the line for two foul shots. Clock either reads 444 or 414 left here. Not exactly sure, but it is a 20 point game. 104 84. And I know it says 84 to 4, ladies and gentlemen, but that is obviously not right. Shot up by Fritzen is good. We only have a few games left here on the ABA and NBA for 2023. Obviously tomorrow we'll be out in Bridgeport, Connecticut as the Kings take on the Kings. Next, uh, next Sunday, December 10th, the Surge take on the Martins. And we'll be back here in two weeks as the Pirates close out 2023 against the New Hampshire Kings. But for now, we'll be right back. You're watching the ABA on NBN. 441 left here in the... Ball game. It is 104-86. The Providence Pirates lead the Masked Wolves. We're here at the Boys and Girls Club. Paul Tucker Rhode Island, just outside of Providence for this ABA and NABN. First game of Weekend Doubleheader. I'm Stephen Err. Thank you all for joining us here on this rebroadcast, or if you watch the highlight reel, appreciate you as well. Strong first three games for us on the ABA and NABN. First game got over 1,000 hits. I'm all right. At this point... Uh, halfway of our projected audience for the year just to three games so again we thank you for supporting us in our first season on the AV of the ABA on NBN shot there is good by Wimbush yeah. 
20 point game, 106-86, here's Fritzen. And let's see, they call it a three, it's no good. Here come the Pirates, outside to Hagri. And a nice shot of the shot there. And there's Almedia coming back into the game, under four left. 22 point game, the biggest lead for the Pirates. Oh, the Foul calls. Unfortunately for the Wolves, they're going to fall to 0 and 4 for the first time in franchise history. Obviously, last year they fell to 0 and 3 before getting their first victory. Wound up winning three of their final four games in 2023, 2022. Excuse me, to get to three and four at the winter break. Got back up to 500 in 2023. Got up to seven and four, or, or finishing the season at about seven and six. They did earn a playoff spot due to the Atlantic Coast Cardinals forfeiting a game against the 4 one 3 Elite. They came here for that playoff game back in March and lost by 50. Oh, this is not a 50-point game. It's about the same outcome. It's a blowout here. The clock is not moved. 3.48 left. Okay, not a 50-point game, but it is another blow. It's going to be a Looking like it's going to be a blowout victory here for Providence against the Wolves once again. And they will remain undefeated against these Wolves all time. And the Wolves are only playing their second season. I'm not exactly sure how many years the Pirates have been around. Might have been around a little longer. I can tell you that much. Very successful franchise here in the ABA. They do things right. Even if it feels wrong at times, they do things right. Definitely give the Pirates a lot of credit for what they've been able to do in their franchise history. Finding venues, to finding players, to winning games, and coming so close last year to winning a championship. Which, by the way, we already know nobody won a championship last year. We had a co-champion, the Indiana Lions, and the, the Chula Vista River Buckets, Burning River Buckets, after the tornado warning out in St. Louis, the day of the championship game. And now Ricardo trying to get it to somebody and a foul is called. 328 left here in this one. And we've got a little applause here from the ownership group of the Pirates because they know their team's going to come out here with a victory at this point. And here's another turnover and a whistle. Ryan Beatty coming to the game for the first time. Number 20. I'll call his name all day long. He's now out there. 322 left. 110-86. A 24-point game. And <laughs> that was a close call. Bryce almost got whacked in the face. And here's Agri calling for a push. Three ball. No good. By Beatty. And rebound here by the Pirates, though. Here, here is Price. And they're going to call a foul against the Wolves. Real six left here in the, four, in the fourth. And now Price is going to shoot two foul shots here in a 24-point game. Again, 306 left. So again, we are in Bridgeport, Connecticut tomorrow as the Kings take on the Kings. Next Sunday, December 10th, we're back with the Surge. As they take on the Benetton Martins. Second time we'll see both of those teams. Obviously, we saw the Martins spoil the home opener for the Maine Bulldogs on November 12th. And a blowout victory there. And we will end 2023 here in two weeks as the Pirates take on the New Hampshire Kings. Who at that time we'll see for the third time. Here in the, early, in the first half of the season. See the, part, the Kings in their home game. On January 20th, 2024, as they take on the Mass Wolves. That'll be another weekend doubleheader. We'll see the Wolves take on the Kings in New Hampshire. And then we'll see the Wolves take on the 4 one 3 Elite out in Barnstable. Stay tuned for updates as they come available. That's a two-point shot. And it's no good regardless. Taken here by Fritzen, who loses it. And then gets it back. After Price lost it, at the Carlson, Carlson for three. Knocks it down. I like to call him the Steph Curry of the Mass Wolves. It's Taylor Carlson, who was the three-point master last year for these for these Wolves. And now stolen here by Fritzen. 
Trying to get away from the defenders. Shot is up and knocks it down. So a great job there by Jimmy Fritzen. Capitalizing off the turnover. 2.22 left here in this one. 111-90. Wolves not going down without a fight. And shot up here is no good. There's Pablo Perez. First time recalling his name. Carlson out to Fritzen. Fritzen for three. Uh, bounces off the rim. Rebound by Mercado, though. His layup is good. And he gets it to go. Under two minutes now. 111.92. Up here by Price. What a nice shot there by Jeremiah Price. One ten left here in Pawtucket. Fritz for three. No good. And the rebound by the Pirates. Minute and a half left. There's Perez again. Perez up to the basket. And what a shot! By Pablo Perez. Oh my goodness. 115-92. Taken by Houston. Given to Fritzen for three. Knocks it down. And they got the ABA rule. And now Whistle is wearing the final minute here. At the siren on, which meant that was a, a three, that was a four shot, but a four point. Look like game any points here for the Pirates, the Wolves, excuse me. Three ball, that one off the mark, and they're here in the final minute. So again, the Wolves will fall to zero and four for the first time in franchise history. Looking to bounce back in their next game. Stay tuned to when that might be. Pirates go on the road next tomorrow to take on the Maine Bulldogs. Look to creep up in the top 20 in the ABA standings, depending on what happens the rest of this weekend. Price for three. No good. Tipped. And Mercado trying to get the rebound. is isn't able to. Clock stopped with 20 seconds left. Doesn't look like he still doesn't look like they gave the points. Actually, I might have. Might, it was a 92. So it looks like they did give the four points to the Wolves. Pop up for three again. No good. Here comes Fritzen. 15 seconds. Alley-oop to Mercado, and the basket is good. And that's going to do it. probably much going to do it here, ladies and gentlemen. The Providence Pirates defeat the Mass Wolves for the second time this year. Your final score, 115-98 for the Providence Pirates. For the Mass Wolves, for the American Basketball Association, I'm Stephen Err. Thank you all for watching. Another game coming up shortly, so make sure you stick around. But for now, good night from Pawtucket, Rhode Island.